Hi, Jim Bordner here from Betts Fishing Center. Today we're going to talk about reel maintenance and how to take care of your equipment after you've finished your day of fishing. Uh, what we recommend is just rinse your reels off, shake them off, and dry them with a towel. Let them air dry the rest of the way. Make sure you tighten those drags down before you hit them with water and loosen them up before you store them. Let me uh, show you a few parts on this particular reel. Uh, it's a good indicator of what a spinning reel looks like inside, the complex nature of some of these parts and why they are where they are and why they do what they do. When we break them down, we go in order. Here's the spool, which contains the drag washer assembly, all the parts that go on your shaft to keep the spool in the proper place, keep your rotor attached to the frame. This is your rotor assembly. It has your bale uh, and your line roller. Uh, the line roller is comprised of bearing or bearings and or bushings. Uh, this allows the line roller to spin properly as you fight fish or uh, retrieve line. Next, we have the anti-reverse or clutch roller. This keeps your reel from reeling backwards. It's a very important part of the reel. Uh, if this fails, you're going to have complications in your fishing day. Here we have our gears, main gear, pinion gear, and oscillating gear, along with the main shaft. From there, we go into the side plates. Uh, the side plates, uh, handle side and non-handle side, have bearings. Uh, those, in addition to your fore and aft bearing on your pinion gear, keep the reel uh, smooth in your hand as you fight fish. As you can see, there's a lot of parts in these things. They're fairly simple to break down, but they're a lot more difficult to put back together. So if you're not confident on what you're doing, bring them by to us. We can do a clean and service on them, replace any worn out or damaged parts, and get them back to you quickly. Thank you.